a welcome everyone to our God's Word Fellowship podcast. I am Vanita Santiago. God is good all the time and all the time our God is good. We are so privileged to serve this God Almighty who made this heaven and earth. And I am so glad to be here with another message on the series which we are calling it Knowing Your Heavenly Father. You know how vital and how important it is for you to know about your Heavenly Father. Sometimes uh, we don't know who our God is. Therefore, uh, there are, when we pray, we pray without confidence. Our uh, prayers are like uh, we are just uh, making prayers like everyone else is making. Sometimes without even expecting the answers we are praying. Sometimes, uh, just like everybody else is praying, we are also praying. Uh, those people pray, we pray. No, it's not like that we are different. We are not lifting up our uh, hands to idols which cannot help. We are not lifting up our hands and uh, crying out for help from stones. There is no help for people from stones or from creation. Your help comes from God Almighty who made heaven and earth. And that's when your prayers will be answered. You should know whom you are praying, whether he is capable of answering your prayers or not, whether he can answer or not. You cannot lift up your prayers to some idols and expect an answer. Idols can never move from their places. We are serving the living God who is sitting in the kingdom of heaven who is sitting in the heaven and his kingdom rules over all he created this heaven and this earth and he made man and beasts and hum mm, fowls of the air and he made this dry land he made this water he made the sun and moon and stars how did he make all this question to be asked right how did he make all this? God made this heaven and earth by his wisdom and by his power. There is power of God involved in this and there is wisdom of God. Before the power, even the first thing which comes is wisdom. So God made this earth and heaven with his wisdom and with his power. So we are serving the God Almighty who made this heaven and earth with wisdom and power. When I was in my college, we used to sing this song. A very beautiful song. And we used to sing as choir. And it used to come very well. And actually sometimes there was anointing. People used to like that song. This song when people used to hear... It was producing that reverence and worship to God Almighty. That song goes like this. Our God is an awesome God who reigns from heaven above with wisdom and power and love. What a great God we are serving. Our God is ruling this entire universe even now with wisdom and power and love. And his kingdom rules over all. He is the creator of the universe, the maker of the ends of the earth, and he is ruling. So God uh, did not make this heaven and earth and uh, left it into the hands of human beings. You do whatever you want. I finish my work. And uh, you can do well, do well. <laughs> you can't do well, then die. No. God did not uh, leave this uh, earth into the hands of human beings uh, ruled by yourself because it is not in man to manage this earth man does not know everything uh, about this earth if you want to know how to live a victorious christian life on this earth you need to read this bible if you want to know how to handle the problems and the difficulties in your life which you are going through if you want to live a, a successful, a happy life, a joyful life on this earth, a life without turmoil, uh, struggle and troubles, pain and sorrow, you need to know your Heavenly Father. Because your Father will help you 
how to lead and manage your life your heavenly father will guide you by his spirit how to deal with things how to manage things he will give you that wisdom and he will give you that power because uh, god loves you so much and he wants to use his power and he wants to give you his wisdom because he loves you so much so that you can live great life successful life on this earth now keeping all these things in our mind and knowing that we are serving the great god almighty and uh, let's believe god and ask him to speak to all of us today through this message so let's release our faith to hear from god almighty let's pray father we come into your presence in the name of our lord jesus christ father you are an awesome god there is no one like you who is like unto the lord glorious in holiness fearful in praises and doing wonders there is no one like you there is no equal for you you alone are god you alone are the king there is none beside you father we pray that you speak to all of us through your word father i pray that you reveal yourself to all of us who you are and what how much you love us and what you are willing to do for us father we thank you so much for strengthening your children father you said that in your word to them that have no power i will give strength to him who has no wisdom i will give him my wisdom father i pray that you fill us with your wisdom knowledge and understanding to lead and manage our life on this earth father i pray that you give us wisdom concerning the situations that we are facing in our life wisdom to be delivered from our problems and your powerful hand on us to deliver us from all our struggles father we thank you for strengthening your children father i pray that you guard them with your strength help them to know that you are always available for them you will always hear and answer their prayers because you are our very present help in time of need you are the father of all flesh you are the father of all human beings and you rule over everything father we thank you for speaking to all of us today through your word and through your mighty holy spirit in the name of our lord jesus christ i pray amen let's read our text let's go to book of genesis 1 verse 1 in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth this is the first thing that every believer should believe that god made this heaven and earth if you don't uh, contradict this verse then you will agree with the rest of the bible without asking any questions but if you doubt this verse that god did not create uh, heaven and earth you will question many things in the bible you will doubt whether things will happen or not and you will lose your confidence to make prayers to god almighty so this verse is the foundation that uh, every believer has to believe uh, in order to lift up your prayers so that your prayers will be answered because our god is almighty this is the first revelation i know god is uh, uh, holy and god is pure and god is love and god is uh, just and he is righteous and he is merciful all these things are aspects of god but instead of writing any of these things first god has put the first verse here telling all his children that he made heaven and earth why why didn't he put anything else here he should have written about his mercy his love that is about his holiness all those things are the character of god nature of god and they are vitally vitally important but the first thing comes more than uh, love and righteousness and justice and all that is this wisdom and power 
because without this wisdom and power it's not difficult it's very difficult to implement uh, uh, love and righteousness and justice to people you need to be powerful in order to show your love in order to show mercy to people because there are things come against that in the world because devil is not a good fellow he is the merciless fellow and uh, he always comes against he too has some power uh, some people think uh, devil has no power mm, god uh, removed all his power and took all the power back yeah that's true uh, that uh, god actually jesus when he rose from the dead he stripped the devil of all his power which he had on human beings you need to understand this uh, properly so devil has no power over you if you are the child of god but he can still deceive you when you don't know about your heavenly father just like uh, adam and eve they were the rulers over the earth at that time when god made them he just came and deceived and took everything from their hands that's what he can still do today he is subtle he is cunning he is crafty and he is extremely good in deceiving people so if you don't want to be deceived by the tactics of the devil we sh- we should not be ignorant about his devices bible says and much more important for all god's children to know that our god is above everything above everyone and he is the most high he is above the sun and he is the uh, creator of the sun the moon the stars and earth and uh, all uh, human beings or uh, is the god of all flesh he is god over waters he is god over dry land and he is god over everything the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof so he this god is very powerful whom we are serving so we should know about this that's when uh, we can lift up our prayers to god confidently that nothing can stop our god from answering our prayers our help comes from god almighty who made this heaven and earth actually in if you read book of isaiah and jeremiah they give the description about how god made this heaven and earth see if you read genesis chapter 1 verse 1 that it is one verse which says in the beginning god created the heaven and the earth see that created so our god is the creator there was no heaven and earth before he created he spoke things into existence but how did he make this heaven and earth those things you don't read in genesis 1:1 the description about how he made heaven and earth it is scattered all over the bible job speaks something about that isaiah speaks about the uh, power and the majesty of god and uh, jeremiah speaks about the uh, stretched out hand of god with his power with his might he stretched out the heavens we will read a few scriptures from that so that you will understand because ashaya is a beautiful book at one point of time when i was reading that book uh, i was feeling bored when in my college the reason it was boring for me because uh, i didn't have a proper knowledge concerning the mighty acts of god and i was not interested to know about that but after i started reading and god started giving me revelation i am understanding today that i am more interested to read the book of isaiah because he has given some amazing description about how god made this heaven and earth and that nothing can stop god from helping you that is the point that why he is mentioning about the creation of god how his power is involved in his creation and this god who made this heaven and earth he is powerful and he is almighty and nothing can stop god from helping you because no power can stand against god and uh, no telling that don't help them 
and also cannot stop god he is the most high we'll read few scriptures from isaiah let's go to isaiah 40 verse 12 who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand this is speaking about how god created the heaven and the earth and let's continue and meted out the heaven with span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in balance who has directed the spirit of the lord or being his counselor has taught him with whom he took counsel and who instructed him and taught him in the path of judgment and taught him knowledge and showed to him the way of understanding verse 15 behold the nations not one nation its nations are as a drop of bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance behold he takes up the isles as a very little thing verse 18 to whom then will he liken god after uh, writing the description about uh, the power and the majesty of god his wisdom and his understanding uh, who who can teach god who was his counselor who instructed him to make heaven like this who taught him to lay the foundations of the earth actually there is no counselor for him god did this by his wisdom and by his power we need to understand this because it is very important for us to know that our god is powerful our god is mighty and he is awesome in power and he is the supreme power if you can understand this then you can live your life with great confidence on this earth because the god almighty who made this heaven and earth he is your redeemer the god almighty who made this heaven and earth he is your provider and he is your deliverer and he will deliver you from any trouble he can deliver you if a sun is troubling you because god can stretch out his hand against the sun and stop that from hurting you that's what we saw in the last week Joshua prayed that the sun should be stopped and God stopped the nature so that he can give victory for his children over their enemies what a great god we are serving we are sometimes people are familiar with the uh, uh, sun god and moon god uh, people are worshiping creation instead of the creator they are believing this, this creation sun is created by god you should understand this the moon is created by god animals are created by god even god makes this rain he creates clouds and he commands rain let me take you to one more verse for that let's go to proverbs proverbs 3 verse 19 the lord by wisdom has founded the earth by understanding he has established the heavens by his knowledge the depths are broken up and the clouds drop down the dew see god made this uh, heaven and earth by stretching out his mighty hand with his power he made the heaven and earth and not only that wisdom is involved in this it is not just power and uh, blasted out everything he with wisdom and with power he made this heaven and earth and it says in verse 20 by knowledge the depths are broken up and the clouds drop down the dew the clouds what god created and he is making clouds give rain for us by his knowledge so that it will not be a destructive rain imagine the clouds uh, big big hailstones falling on us here it's a very beautiful description about how god is giving rain wisdom is involved here and again see the rain when clouds give rain for us it is not falling in one place 
and it is scattered all over and it's a blessing rain and it's a pleasant rain that's what god is giving imagine if it if uh, this was done without knowledge without wisdom it will be just rain falling in one place and filling up in one place there is wisdom knowledge and understanding involved in the creation and this wisdom and knowledge and understanding is helping us today and it is not a destructive rain it's a blessing rain he is giving for us and again he can command rain in one place and he can stop rain in another place if people are uh, rebellious and uh, wicked don't honor and respect uh, respect god we read in uh, one of the books in the old testament uh, where uh, one prophet is writing where there is no worship and praise for god that place is a dry place so god can stop rain we can read uh, even in uh, isaiah he can rain in one place and he can stop the rain in another place why because god he can stop he can change seasons and he can change things because it is under his control but when people reverence and worship god almighty and acknowledge that he made this heaven and earth then he will bless you and he will help you and he will protect you and he will do all good things for you whatever you are expecting from him so wisdom and might are involved when god made this heaven and earth and again he made this wind there is oxygen all over the earth in this atmospheric heaven but if you go about that you don't find oxygen you have to carry oxygen from earth in order to you know, spend time in space and again i heard that recently one lady indian lady she is stuck in uh, space and she wants to come back home why because earth god gave to the children of men and then on this earth we can live peacefully there is plenty of oxygen god has given for us and it is inexhaustible imagine the wisdom of god involved in giving oxygen for us continually the amount of oxygen people are breathing every day it is uh, innumerable it cannot be counted it is inexhaustible you keep uh, breathing oxygen and uh, it keeps coming it doesn't get exhausted Oh, so who is making all this our god in his mercy he is giving oxygen to this many billions of people on earth and even animals need oxygen imagine the amount of oxygen man is using on this earth in order to breathe and again we are not struggling to breathe he made it in such a way that it is easy for us that's when we can say god is good and his mercy endures forever during the time of corona people were selling oxygen for uh, mm, lakhs of rupees it was in big demand that time since there was a big demand uh, people demanded more money for that because the supply was less but our god's supply is not like that it's unlimited and till today we don't have any deficiency of oxygen on this earth because god has given so much of oxygen and he will continue to give even in the coming days in his mercy he will keep giving oxygen for all the people on the earth this is the general mercy of god on all human beings and on all his creation psalm 145 says the lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works so god in his mercy he is continually giving oxygen for us inexhaustible this cannot be exhausted and again he is giving freely without taking any money from you you understand this power of god the wisdom of god how he made and we we can breathe and breathe and uh, you cannot exhaust this oxygen 
because that's our god in his wisdom and in his power he made this earth in such a way that it will be very easy for us we don't have to struggle to breathe and this is the god whom we are serving if you want to know about god almighty look at the heaven look at the stars and think about this earth and think about this gravity what he made the gravity what god made on this earth is just exactly the right amount what man needs to live on this earth without any struggle the gravity in uh, space it's very less that's why people are uh, floating in the space stations <laughs> there is no gravity there but if you go to some other planets they say the gravity is very heavy <laughs> you cannot uh, lift up your legs and uh, uh, walk easily but it's not on the earth like that because god made this earth with wisdom and power the right amount of gravity he has given for us we are not struggling to move and we are not hanging in between so the no, earth cannot hmm? the earth is under us and we are not struggling we are not hanging and uh, our leg is not uh, sticking to the earth because he made it in such a way which is very easy for us see there is a connection and a relation a ship between uh, this earth and man he made this earth inhabitable for human beings so that we don't have to struggle see there is the generic mercy of god on all human beings this uh, rain what god gives it's a generic mercy he will uh, give rain on evil people or good people and uh, he will make his sun shine on uh, evil people and good people and this is the generic mercy of god but uh, when you are a child of god when you become a born again believer there is this special favor and special grace this god gives on you in order to show the people difference this is the man this is the woman my son my daughter who serves me and i am blessing them the people will see the things in our life which are different from others and they will think about the god okay you are different and you are doing so well how can you be so happy and peaceful when there is so much turmoil on this earth how can you be so prosperous when there is a problem in economy then you can say the god whom i am serving is not restricted by indian economy the god whom i am serving is not restricted by any power i am living under god's economy i am living under kingdom of god's economy and my god's riches is inexhaustible his resources are unlimited because he is the source of all good things and you you cannot exhaust the riches of god there is so much riches unlimited riches that god can give to his children when you lift up your eyes and look unto god your debt problem if you are struggling with the debt problem you may say that it is 50 lakhs 1 crore it's nothing for god when you think with this perspective my god who made this heaven and earth and he put this lot of silver and gold and there is so much uh, precious and valuable things lying in different planets where man cannot reach that is as the dustbin of god nobody is using but there are lot of valuable things there and this god who made this heaven and earth for him it is easy to uh, relieve you from your debt it's easy for him to pay off all your debts and to bring you out of the debt problem don't think this debt problem as a huge mountain gigantic mountain that i cannot come out that's what the world will tell you that this is too big this is too much you cannot pay off this debt yeah if you think about your perspective uh, what you you are making how much you are making you cannot come out but you if you think about this god and take time to meditate on this god almighty and your loving heavenly father who made this heaven and earth 
for him it's very light thing to solve your problems it's very very easy and light for god almighty to deliver you from your debts to deliver you from your problems because he made uh, all silver is his all gold is his and he can make and give for you because you are serving the creator you are serving the powerful the almighty god who has this uh, rulership over entire earth uh, your enemies cannot stop your progress because god will take care of your enemies and he will stretch out his mighty hand against them if they are coming against you just pray to god that god will take care sometimes we have to fight the spiritual battle the devil is against your progress the devil is against for you that you should not know god so he will try to portray god in a different way that's what he is doing with the people outside so they can keep worshiping the stones they can keep looking to the mountains and do this yatras and go there your problems will be solved go and dip in the river your problems will be solved he is cheating people he is deceiving people none of these things are going to deliver people from their problems so devil is the subtle and crafty and cunning and uh, immersing people in the ignorance so people who worship this creation they are ignorant people the people who worship god who made this heaven and earth the god who made the sun and moon then you know then god who is alive he is the everlasting god sitting in the heaven and ruling in the entire kingdoms of the mankind and he is the creator of the ends of the earth and he is the supreme ruler the sovereign ruler the mighty god the glorious god who is wonderful in deeds awesome in his power when you know that he is on your side you will live a peaceful life on this earth you will live a trouble free life on this earth i'm not saying that uh, you will never face any trouble but god will give victory for you over the trouble you will not be overcome by troubles and challenges instead uh, you will overcome all those things and come out victorious on the other side with the help of god with the strength of god you can do this so don't be beaten by troubles and challenges think about the awesomeness of god meditate on the power and majesty of god how great he is and this great god who made this heaven and earth loves you so much next week we will discuss about this uh, how this uh, power and wisdom how important it is in order for god to execute his love his righteousness and his judgment because this is the pure power this is the holy power which god wants to help you to deliver you this power is not for destruction this power this is the good power holy power to help you and this power is for you not against you god will not use his almighty power to hurt you the god will use his almighty power to help you you need to understand this sometimes people misuse the power if they are in power they abuse and they oppress people but our god's power is to help you and to bring you out of your troubles to bring you out of your debt problem to bring you out of the people who are oppressing you to bring you out of your this anything that you are suffering with your health issues you need power in order for you know god needs power in order to help you so this is the first thing the very first thing in fact god is uh, telling the children of israel uh, i'll close with this he instructed moses after this uh, dividing of the red sea and the children of israel passed over to the other side Uh, god is instructing moses concerning the passover in that passover he is telling moses uh, 
to tell his children and his children's children about the mighty acts of God what he did in Egypt how he stretched out his mighty hand and subdued Pharaoh and entire Egypt to deliver the children of Israel from the bondage so God used his power power to deliver the children of Israel from the house of bondage and from Egypt so God is telling Moses tell children of Israel to teach their children's children about the mighty acts of God why because future when they are in trouble when they will be oppressed by other people they should know that God Pharaoh was oppressing the children of Israel uh, sorry yeah our fathers were oppressed by Pharaoh in Egypt and how God delivered now these people are oppressing me the God who delivered our fathers from the bondage of uh, Egypt and he has delivered them and brought them out and that same God can deliver me from my problem what I'm going through today so this is what will give you confidence there is no doubt about God's love God loves you so much and that's why he wants to use his power to express his love see uh, the love without power will not do much but with power love can be expressed in such a way that he can execute anything that he can thinks about you see with his power he already loves you with his power he can provide for you with his power and with his wisdom he can take care of you and he can deliver you from any problem any situation whoever it is irrespective of who is devil and all his angels may be against you but still God is above them and he can deliver you so this is very important for uh, God's children to know how powerful how great how majestic our God is and he is the super power and he is above everything there is no match for our God Almighty that's the whole teaching of Isaiah after 40 I mean from 40 chapters to rest of the verse uh, there is no power that can withstand me I, I am the creator of the ends of the earth and I am your redeemer every time God is telling to the children of Israel I am your deliverer and I am your redeemer prior to that God is saying I made this heaven I made this earth by my power now I can redeem you because I am powerful enough to handle this and again this God whom we are serving has not diminished in his power and he does not faint and he will not become weary there is no diminishing of God's power he will always be powerful ever be powerful so when you trust on this God Almighty who is awesome and when you know about the majesty and power of God you will reverence and you fear and worship him and you will take your refuge under his wings and nobody can hurt you nobody can harm you and nobody can oppress you and you don't have to <laughs> struggle because of finances because our God is rich our God is superb rich he has unlimited riches to provide you and to help you and to take care of all your situations and uh, next week we will see some more things about uh, your heavenly father let's know more and more about God and be confident not be shaky by the problems and be confident on this earth in this journey on this earth to live a great life which will tell others the God whom this man is serving I want to serve him so we should be good examples for people to follow our God we'll see you next week uh, thank you so much for listening to this message God bless you Jesus Christ is coming soon